New players are starting Red Dead Online every single day and recently there has been a ton of new players to the game since Red Dead Redemption 2 has come to the Xbox Game Pass. With that new players are likely to make mistakes and instead of you having to learn from your very own mistakes, I'm going to be telling you what to look out for and telling you exactly what not to do when starting Red Dead Online. Before I get into the video, if you do want to see me live playing through Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2 and maybe a little bit of GTA Online every now and then then head over to twitch i stream every monday wednesday and friday drop a follow and you'll be notified whenever i go live getting back to the video the first mistake that players make is rushing through your character right at the very beginning it can be very exciting coming off the back of red dead redemption 2 thinking you know exactly what you want to do within the game and that excitement then leads you to rush through your character customization because you want to get straight into the gameplay but this can affect you badly you are only allowed one character within online and if that character is not to your satisfaction it means you're gonna have to pay to change its appearance or even worse you might have to delete your character and start again so when starting a character think of the type of gender that you want to play with whether or not it's gonna be male or female because even if you change your appearance later you cannot change its gender and as soon as you've selected a male or female character build the foundation of what you want your character to look like it doesn't matter about hair facial hair or makeup because you will be able to change them later. What matters is the body shape, the head shape, nose shape, ear shape, all of that stuff because that is the foundation of your character and if you do want to change these later then you will have to pay 10 gold bars to change your appearance or as I said earlier if you want to change something a little bit more extreme you're going to have to delete your character and start again. So the best thing to do is to get this right first time. The second mistake that new players make is not prioritizing what you spend your cash and gold on. You're are given a very bad horse at the beginning, you're given a few weapons which aren't too amazing themselves and your outfit and the way you look is just not too appealing. So when you finally get money within the game by completing the main missions or maybe you're just doing something within free roam, it is very tempting to try and upgrade your horse upgrade all your weapons and upgrade your character style but this is a massive mistake because by upgrading those things you are now in a place where you do not have enough money or gold to buy into the later content that you can get within the game and these are the roles that's the bounty hunter collector trader and also moonshiner and you want to be able to go for them because that is where a lot of the fun is within the game so that means when starting a game the best thing for you to do is to stick with what you've got buy things that will only make you more money in the long run and not things that just make your character look better if you keep on putting your money into items that will give you more money in the long run eventually you'll be making a profit on everything that you put your money into so at that point that is when you can buy the weapons that you want upgrade to the horses that you want and upgrade the outfits that your character is wearing the third mistake is not doing daily challenges as already mentioned the most important currency within the game is gold it can be used to buy most things within the game and on top of that is the only currency required to buy into these roles that give you more content so it's a good idea to try and get as much gold as possible and a number one source to get gold is daily challenges when starting out and looking at daily challenges it only offers 20 gold nuggets and you need a hundred gold nuggets to get a gold bar so looking at that you're probably thinking it's not really worth it but the thing is the more daily challenges you do in a row you will start to build up a streak and once you get to seven days in a row of doing daily challenges the gold gold payout for daily challenges from that point is now increased and you'll get 30 gold nuggets at two weeks it then gets increased again and you get 40 gold nuggets and finally at three weeks it will give you the maximum payout for daily challenges which is 50 gold nuggets it might sound like a lot to do 21 days in a row of just trying to do daily challenges every single day but you have to remember to keep that daily streak going all you need to do is one daily challenge a day any other daily challenges is just bonus gold for you but that means if you want to just keep on building up your streak all you need to do is spend a couple minutes just doing one daily challenge and then you're done for the day and eventually you'll get to that 21 day streak and even push to that 28 day streak and that will generate you a lot of gold within the game at that point all you need to do is two daily challenges a day to get one gold bar on a similar note this brings us to mistake number four and that is not doing awards daily challenges is the number one source for gold number two is your awards awards are very similar to daily challenge except they're not there just for the day they are there for your whole time of playing red dead online 
and make sure that you do these. More importantly, make sure that you reset them as well. Some of the awards that you can find within here, such as the Sharpshooter Awards, can be reset. You will find an award of get a thousand kills with a certain type of weapon, or even get a thousand headshots with a certain type of weapon. As soon as that is completed, that's not it done. You can reset this 10 times, and every time you reset it, you are given 40 gold nuggets. And these are just under the Sharpshooter Awards. You have a ton of other ones, like sell a thousand animal parts, sell 100 herbs to the doctor, jump from horseback to train a hundred times. All of these are very easy to do. So when you do them and get to that target and get that gold buckle, make sure that you reset it, because it's only by resetting it is when you get the gold. Moving on to mistake number five. And this is another mistake that I made, and that was buying every single weapon within the game, because it is not needed. You probably only need three weapons, and that is the bolt action rifle, varmint rifle, and also Lancaster repeater. The bolt action rifle is used to kill medium to large animals whilst maintaining the meat quality. So that means if you see a perfect deer, you kill that deer, it will stay perfect. The varmint rifle is also used for hunting, and this is used to kill small animals whilst maintaining the meat quality yet again. So if you find a perfect rabbit and you kill that with one bullet, that will stay as a perfect rabbit. Then finally, Lancaster Repeater is probably the fan favorite weapon to kill other players or even other NPCs. You can still use a bolt action rifle and also a varmint rifle to kill enemies as well, but their main purpose is for hunting. These are the only three weapons that you need. Any other weapon that you are able to buy is just a luxury. So when starting out, stick to the bolt action rifle, varmint rifle, and Lancaster Repeater. Owning these weapons also brings us to mistake number six, and that is not cleaning your weapons. Maintain in your weapons is a vital part to Red Dead Online, and by not taking care of these weapons, decreases its effectiveness against animals or even other players or NPCs. Having a bad conditioned weapon will affect the weapon's damage, fire rate, and also reload. So by making sure that the condition is always at the top, making sure that you're constantly cleaning your weapons with gun oil, will mean that that weapon is performing at the best it possibly can. So always make sure that you are cleaning your weapons. The seventh mistake new players make is when you're going through the collector role, and you are buying and collect the maps of Madame Nazar. This is a complete waste of money, especially when right now we have an interactable collector map, and I'll leave a link in the description down below. This shows every single collectible within the game. If you are wanting to go down the coin set, this map will let you select the coin set and show you every single coin location on that day. Using the interactable collector map will save you a lot of money, and will still give you the total price of selling that set later to Madame Nazar. So do not buy any collector maps from Madame Nazar, because it is only just showing you the exact locations that you can find on this interactable map. And as I said, the link for that is in the description down below. The eighth mistake on my list is players not looting bodies or even chests. Every time that you kill an enemy within Red Dead Online, it is a good idea to loot the body. By looting the body, you can get yourself money, ammo, tonics, provisions, different types of animal parts, collectibles, and even a chance to get a treasure map. Now getting the valuable stuff such as collectibles and treasure maps is very rare, but it's one of those things where you need to be in it to win it. By looting a body, you may have a 1% chance of getting one of those very, very nice things that can give you a very, very nice amount of money or even gold. But by not looting those bodies, it guarantees that you will never ever get those items. When looting chests, you don't have that chance of getting a treasure map or even collectibles, unless that chest is specifically for a specific type of collectible. But you still want to loot these because it gives you the chance of finding gun oil, different types of provisions, tonics, stuff that you can actually use for your character. And this will save you money later because now you do not have to buy them at the shops because you've already managed to loot them. If you are a player that is interested in statistics, I have done a video already where I show you exactly what I managed to get after looting a hundred bodies within Red Dead. I go through how much money I was able to get, the different types of ammo, different types of provisions, and also if I was able to get a treasure map or even any collectibles. If you would like to see that, there is a card on screen right now. Click that and it will take you directly to that video. The ninth mistake on my list is rushing through missions, and that is stranger missions, bounty hunter missions, and also legendary bounties. Red Dead Online has this very weird thing where the longer it takes you to do a mission the higher the payout. So by rushing through these missions, quickly go into the location, 
collecting the bounty, bringing them back to the sheriff office and doing that within just a couple minutes will lead to you getting a smaller reward. And it's the exact same with stranger missions and legendary bounties. This also crosses over to a few dynamic events. That's not every single event because some events only last a couple of seconds. But if you come across a rescue and escort or just an escort event, those allow you to take your time with them. And if you do take your time, you'll get more money, more gold, and also more XP for completing. And finally, at number 10, the 10th mistake that players make is not upgrading ability cards. And this, yet again, is a mistake that I am known for. Pick an ability card loadout that you are happy with, whether or not you are someone that enjoys free roam or you are someone that enjoys PvP. There are a lot of tutorials out there that will show you the best possible ability card loadout for you. Select one, buy the ability cards and stick with it. As soon as you have bought them, you need to get enough XP to then upgrade them. Once you get enough XP to upgrade them, you need to spend money. You then go through this exact same thing again. You get enough XP, again, you can then upgrade it to its third and final tier. Make sure that you are doing this. Upgrading it will provide a benefit to you. Whether or not you're going to be doing a defensive or an attacking playstyle, it will help your playstyle. This will provide you with extra damage or maybe even extra health. So if someone does get that really critical hit on you, maybe you just have that little bit of health left to keep you alive to kill your opponent before they kill you. Likewise, it might be giving you a little bit of extra damage. So if you don't quite get that critical hit, maybe that bullet that has just hit them within the leg still manages to kill them because it has that extra increase in damage from your ability cards. So make sure that you pay attention to the types of ability cards that you are using and also make sure that you are continuously trying to upgrade them because these will definitely save your life at some point and they definitely make a difference within the game. But anyway guys those are the top 10 mistakes that players make when starting Red Dead Online. If you would like any more tips from me then head over to Twitch. I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and you guys can ask me anything over there as well as have the chance to play with me on stream and that way you can have some of the benefits fits of getting money doing trade deliveries as well as moonshine deliveries. So head over to there, drop a follow and you'll be notified the next time I go live. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.